Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share some meals I prepare throughout the week. So as you can see, I've trimmed some of the fat off the lamb cutlets and I'm actually going to render down that fat to create some oil here as you can see and I'm going to use that to cook with. Also, I prefer my lamb cutlets a little less fatty so I put the fat into good news in my opinion. So I've got some eggs, some salt, lamb cutlets, bread crumbs and chopped parsley there. So I've mixed up the crumb and I've added a few of the lamb fat croutons in just to see if it tastes nicer and maybe the texture might be nice. I've lightly seasoned the cutlets with salt. I'm going to dunk it in the egg and then crumb it. Next, I'm cooking the lamb cutlets in the lamb fat oil that you guys saw prior. This is what it is looking like for the moment. And I've actually just plated it up with some of that pasta salad that I got from Coles. You guys would have seen that in my grocery haul. It was so good. Next, I'm going to turn the tteokbokki into a meal. Tteokbokki is basically rice cakes. I've got some cheese, kimchi from the previous week and the sauce. I think the instructions tell you what to do. So I've basically just got some water. I'm waiting for the tteokbokki rice cakes to boil. Then I add in the sauce. I'm still quite new with working with tteokbokki. So I'm kind of just making a really simple one. I add some cheese. Um, once that melts, I add a little bit of frozen spring onions I had in the freezer and then I served that on the side with some kimchi it was so delicious I will experiment more with this in the future next meal I've got some pork mince I also had one singular brioche bun in the freezer I wanted to use up so I kind of broke that up into pieces and then soaked that in milk I've got some onions parsley and garlic there some salt, basil seasoning, I had two eggs but I already put one into the mixture and then I just mixed the meat mixture together, formed them into some little balls and then I've also got some Italian diced tomatoes and whole peeled tomatoes which I'm going to use as a sauce. The reason why I've dunked the bread in milk and then added it to the meatball mixture is because it helps keep my meatballs moist and I'm not a fan of dry meatballs, that's why I kind of do that bread and milk mixture tossed into my meatball meat mixture, if that makes sense. Once I've cooked the meatballs, I take them out and then I toss the canned tomatoes straight into the same pan I cooked the meatballs in, just because there's a lot of flavour down the bottom that I don't want to waste. And then once my sauce is kind of all broken up, I add the meatballs back to the pot and then I let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. Now you can serve the meatballs on a hot dog roll with some cheese like I have or you can even serve it on top of some pasta. Next meal I've got some chicken thighs cooking down here then I chop them up into smaller pieces as you guys can see. And whilst this is cooking I'm making my peanut sauce on the side so it's got coconut milk, peanut butter, lime juice, soy sauce, garlic, sriracha. Um, so I've basically added that in and then topping it with some coriander. I've also got another pot which I've got some boiling fettuccine in. So I'm going to strain that and toss that in and mix it through. You can use other noodles as well if you like. Once I plate this up, I actually add some more coriander on top. One for garnish and two for flavour. I would ideally like to add another sprinkling of lime juice on top at the end as well. But I had none available. And I also added some cashews if I hadn't mentioned that already. Next meal, I've got some chicken thighs I'm cooking down. Lightly seasoned with salt, heavily seasoned with smoked paprika and garlic. In this little bowl, I've got some honey, butter and loads of Dijon mustard. Once the chicken's cooked, I toss in my frozen green beans. And then I add in that butter, honey, Dijon mustard sauce into the pot. This was so good and I will be definitely making this more regularly. Next clip, I'm not sure if I've showed you guys already, but I found it in my log. So I've got some salmon, green beans, potatoes and garlic. I'm cooking down the green beans with a bit of garlic and soy sauce and butter. Got some mashed potatoes and pan seared salmon, lightly seasoned with smoked paprika. Super good, super easy and nutritious. Same thing with this next clip. It's a little bit of an older clip. I've got some carrots, potatoes, beef mince and shepherd's pie. If you're a regular on my channel, you know I make this very frequently in winter. So I start by 
peeling and chopping the potatoes, adding them into some water so they can boil. Then my partner helps out by mashing the potatoes. Then I've chopped up a substantial amount of onions and carrots. This is why I love shepherd's pie. I can sneak in quite a few veggies. I personally like to cook my carrots and onions down in a little bit of water. Some people prefer to do it in oil. I prefer water as mentioned because the beef mince is already quite fatty on its own. So I toss the beef mince in, mash it up, cook it, and then I add in the shepherd's pie seasoning, mix that through until it thickens. Also, I don't add more water in because I saute my carrots and onions with water. But if you're going to use oil, you need to add water because the seasoning mixture requires water. So this is my shepherd's pie or cottage pie. Super delicious, especially during winter, as I mentioned before. One of my favorites. Hey guys, got a really super small grocery haul, but a pretty good one. So I'm going to run through everything anyways. I grabbed two salmon fillets, skin off, because they were marked down to clear at the deli for like $25 a kilo, which is pretty cheap for salmon. Grabbed some chicken skewers, two Thai ones, 80 cents each. And then I got two satay ones, um, 80 cents each. So they were both chicken breasts, I believe. Grabbed some prawns. They were marked down to clear at the deli as well for $11.50 a kilo. So I grabbed just a little over a kilo of banana prawns. I'm probably going to peel them and then portion them out and put them in the freezer. And then I grabbed a honeydew for $3.00. Hi guys, I popped by my local Asian grocery and popped by Coles as well. My partner grabbed the teriyaki glaze for $3.80. I grabbed some Wicked kimchi, that was $3.80. Milk, normal price. Cyclones, I think they were $7 on sale. And then at my local Asian grocer, I grabbed some of these noodles. I've sampled one packet before and they were really tasty so I went back for more. We grabbed some crab soup instant noodles and some beef flavoured noodles. I think they're like a Vietnamese beef noodle. $1.60 a packet. And they're roughly about 230 calories each, I think. So I was really happy about the calorie intake. So it's easy for me to beef this meal up with some vegetables and protein. And then I also grabbed one of these to try. The far one that we will give a go. And then I've also got these crab ones, which I've already gone through with you guys. Hey guys, just a quick top-up shop. So I purchased a few shampoos from Coles because the Sun Silk 700ml bottles are usually $12 a bottle. They were on sale for six at Coles. So I grabbed four, went over budget a little bit, but that's okay because I'm building up my stockpile. And these were, how much did I spend? Six, 12, 18, 24, when really those four bottles would have normally costed me 48. Also grabbed some disinfectant right Wipes for 350, 120 pack, the cheap Coles one, they do the job just fine.